Okay. Why is it so hard? Man, I talk all the time. I mean, I'm doing it right now. Why can't I just put, like, dialogue on paper? <sighs> it's different, I guess. I mean, I'm not having any luck drawing over here either. How much do we have? Well, we have a hero, a sidekick, a villain, some potential names for these characters, and we know that we live in a post-apocalyptic New York where Pokemon cards are the only valuable currency. Ew. I thought we decided to table the whole trading card currency discussion for later. I mean, yeah, but come on. We both know that we're going to use it. It's just, we haven't even, you know, came up with plot lines. We haven't even decided on a plot line or, or powers, and we, we don't even have a B story. What if we try one of those brain games? You know, you say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Good. Guys. Bad. Guys. Power. Bottom. Okay, this is stupid. Nothing's working. Maybe we just need to bounce some ideas off some people. I thought we agreed to do this alone so that we didn't need any other people. Well, I mean, we don't need them, but I mean, we can use them. Huh? Like... Okay, what if we get a group of people together to give us ideas without knowing that they're doing it? Like a survey or something like that. Ooh, like a think tank. A brain trust. Hey dude, why don't we just get a ton of people together, throw a mixer, and get some real juices flowing? Yes, but if you keep throwing out phrases like power bottom and juices flowing, you and I need to discuss some new sleeping arrangements. All right, so guests arrive between 9 and 9.15, and then what? Then we have Odoros, followed by light conversation until then. Cool, that'll give them enough time to relax and get to know each other. And then we hit them with the discussion topics. Like, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Hmm. What do you think is worth dying for? If you could choose any childhood toy or collector's item that could replace the current economic standard, what would it be? Leave it alone. I think it's a good idea. No. Our guests have arrived early. Chuck, what the hell? Chuck, wh what are you doing, man? What do you want? I'm here for the mixer. I I'm sorry, Dwayne. This is the most casual I could find on such short notice. What are you talking about? Well, the flyer that Dwayne sent out said it was going to be dressy casual, but I didn't have any, and so I... That's not what that means, Chuck. You sent out flyers? Yeah, I figured it would be as legit as possible. I'm sorry. I would hate to go all the way back home just to change, though, so... You live here, man. Right. I'll be right back. You invited Chuck? Yeah, he's sort of a wild card. You never know what he's gonna say. I mean, I figured it wouldn't hurt. That's fine. As long as you didn't invite... So... The Go In Brothers are having a party, eh? <laughs> Dwayne, can I see you in the kitchen, please? Why is he here? For that exact reason. Okay, maybe he's a little fixated on homoerotic puns, but he's a master at wordplay. It can come in handy. <laughs> yeah, except there's only one problem. What? He's a giant douche. Future New York gets attacked by a giant douche. <laughs> See, it's already working. We'll call it Summer's Eve and the Big Apocalypse. Okay, maybe it won't be so bad. Hmm? People are going to start arriving anyway. Thurgood! Good day, good day. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. How about yourselves? I'm swell. Good, yeah. What what happened to your uh, goatee? Well, well, you know I can I'd love to answer those questions, but I'd rather not. I'd rather, you know, not stand in this doorway very much. Right. Come on in. Got meat and cheese and don't mind if I do. What not? I love meat and cheese. Off like us meat, too. Meat and cheese? Like saying hi to it? Hey, Crystal. How are you? Dwayne, this is my sister. She's in marketing, man. So she can probably help us with the whole. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Why are you 
aren't you a tall glass of Mama Likey? <laughs> Come on in, sis. I think everyone's almost here. It's for the salchicha, my favorite! Looking good, Pete. Yeah, but what's with the tie? Well, it's a mixer, ain't it? I'm just trying to get lucky. See if I can't find a female that wants to take me home with her. Man, there's only one female. It's not that kind of mixer, Pete. Plus, who are you going to pick up? You smell like weak old Mexican food. First off, that is surprisingly accurate to what I smell like. Second of all, it's called tactics. I figure my smell will help gravitate the conversation to shower time without seeming too forward. Good luck with that, Stinky Pete. Now come on in here and eat some food that hasn't took the glad bag yet. Indeed. Don't mind if I do. I like your black outfit, Crystal. Seems fitting. There's all the black in my Lewis and Clark trail. Oh, wow. Okay. So what about you, dear? Why is there no Incredibles 2? Oh, they, set it, they set it up perfectly at the end of The Incredibles. Why, why haven't we gotten a second part yet? You want to see Incredible? I'll show you Incredibles. Yes, yes. These aren't even glasses. These are made of plastic. Yeah, I mean, I've been drinking mostly out of my, the palms of my hands and an old hat, so oh. I'm pretty good with this. Yes, yes, I assumed you're some sort of uh, writer by the appearance of your clothing here. Is Clark here? It's going good, man. Like we, we got a bunch of good, a bunch of good information. Mm -hmm. Of course, without them knowing, but I mean, I really think we can utilize this into the comic book. Yeah, of yeah. course. Not to mention all that creative I like, stuff. I like what Thurgood said. Yes, I was about to. You. Hey, you made it. Your buddy wanted to know where you live, so I told him you were throwing this little thing here. Hey, Haas, it's not as sexy as I thought it was gonna be. Everybody out. Now. So where's my money?